Welcome back guys to Don't Be Weak Science. Today we will be doing a glucose and also an insulin test for Ana Garcia, patient A and patient B. So I'm going to demonstrate the procedures for just Ana Garcia so that you can have a uh, good reference on like what to do for the lab. So what you want to do first is you want to get the glucose, well first, okay, gloves, goggles, safety equipment, of course. Then get your glucose test paper strips. And what you're going to do is um, you're going to put them. So we're going to start with Anna Garcia first. Okay. So you're going to put this there on column one for zero, which is fasting, um, 30, 60, the 90, and the 120. Okay. So, and you're going to find these <clears throat> microtubes. They're going to have Ana Garcia's plasma, um, where it says GTT, so that's for the glucose um, testing. Okay, um, there's going to be for zero minutes, um, thirty minutes, uh, sixty minutes, ninety minutes, and also one hundred twenty minutes. Okay, so what this is is basically her um, plasma or blood serum samples after she she, she eats. So zero um, <clears throat> means that. You know, she didn't eat anything, and then we're taking her um, blood glucose levels from her plasma uh, when she hasn't had anything to eat. 30 minutes means 30 minutes after she finished eating, like, let's say, a sandwich. Um, we take her blood um, glucose from her plasma, and uh, it's going to show up here. And then 60 minutes is 60 minutes after she finished eating the sandwich. 90 minutes is 90 minutes um, after she finished eating a sandwich, how much glucose is going to be in her blood. And then 120 is 120, 120 minutes or two hours after she finished eating the sandwich, how much glucose is going to be in her blood. Okay. Um, the way that we can do that is we put the glucose strips there and um, we are going to use these transfer pipettes, these disposable transfer pipettes. And we are going to put her zero minute plasma on the uh, glucose strip right here that's on the zero for fasting. Okay, so zero on zero. So just like one drop would be good. Okay, and then you can just put one drop here. Uh, be sure not to like take in too much because you, you only need like one drop, one or two drops. Okay, so maybe like two drops. Like that. Okay, if there's any left over, put it back in. Um, if you have people at the, across the table from you that are also working on this, you could also hand this to them also. Okay, uh, same uh, transfer pipette. So let's say you have them; they do their uh, zero two. When they're done, they could throw it inside the uh, little bin right here. Okay, and then we're gonna do the next one, which is uh, Anna Garcia thirty minutes. So same thing. Grab a new um, transfer pipette. Um, roughly about one or two drops. that okay put the rest back in and then you give it to your table partners on the other side and then when they're done they can throw it away and you know they're gonna do the 60 okay. and then they're gonna keep going um, they're gonna do the for, um, and then finish off the 90 and then the 120, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna reference the um, glucose, the blood glucose level chart. Um, that this chart right here, okay? And um, so basically you just cross-reference the chart. So that one, uh, this one right here is kind of reddish for the glucose concentration. So it, that means at fasting, her normal glucose levels when she hasn't eaten anything is 150 milligrams per deciliter. And then for the 30 minutes, um, it's kind of a uh, yellowish color like right here. Um, so that's 200. At 60 minutes, it's 250, like that. So like that's how you read the chart. Um, to make it a little easier to actually see the colors because the table is black, uh, you want to put like a white sheet of printer paper underneath your transparency right here. Okay, so 
we're gonna move on to column two. So we're gonna look, check the um, amount of insulin in her blood plasma. So um, for those, we're gonna get the tubes that say um, IT. So this is the insulin test for Anna Garcia at zero minutes. So what that means is what is her, what is her insulin level when she's not eating any food, okay? And then 30 minutes means like, what is her insulin levels 30 minutes after eating the sandwich? So to do, test this, uh, what we do is we just put the drop put one drop directly on the transparency circle for zero minutes okay. and then you know you could pass it to your other side table partners okay. and then you're going to get an insulin indicator solution and you are going to put a drop of the ins in <clears throat> insulin indicator solution on top of the previous drop. Okay. And then you're going to uh, let it kind of um, use a toothpick to mix it up a little bit. And uh, after it's, it's done mixing, okay, you gotta check the color. So um, right now I don't have a toothpick, so let's just use this as a toothpick for now. So just try not to scratch the, the plastic transparency, just real lightly, just kind of go like that, mix it up a little bit, okay? And uh, you'll notice that it's a yellowish color, so her insulin levels at well, when she's not eating is actually um, zero, okay? So that's how you read the chart. And then you just do the same thing for the 30, the 60, the 90, and the 120. And then when you're done with Anna Garcia's two columns, then you go to patient A, patient B, okay? And uh, that's it. Thank you guys for watching.